Guys, welcome to the North Carolina Farm Machinery Show. Today, we're gonna have some fun and show you some cool stuff. What the heck is that thing? I said, if you mess up my freedom, I tell you just what you can kill. Hey guys, it's Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another awesome day off the farm. We are at the Southern Farm Show, is that right? Yep, that's it. Here in Raleigh, North Carolina. And we're gonna take you around to the coolest equipment that we've seen here at the Southern Farm Show. So tune in, we're gonna have some fun. It's gonna be a pretty good video. We're gonna take you around and show you some of the coolest stuff in case you missed the farm show. And don't forget, we're gonna be at the National Farm Machinery Show here in a couple weeks in Louisville, Kentucky. This is 2023, so that'll be February the 15th, 16th, 17th, and 18th, right? Yeah, I think so. I yeah. think so. Yeah. So we'll see you there. And let's talk to the electric tractor folks. So this yep. is Solitrack electric tractors, and this is the electric machine. This is the Solitrack E25. It's an all electric, 25 horsepower compact tractor. It, depending on what you're doing, you can get three to four hours of constant work out of it if you're really working it hard. But in lighter loads, you can get up to six, seven, eight hours out of it of runtime. The tractor operates uh, just like a normal conventional tractor uh, with a missing around 200 moving parts under the hood. You see here we've replaced a conventional diesel engine with a 72 volt lithium ion battery pack that powers an electric motor that drives a tractor. So it's an electric tractor that does tractory things. We just do it around 40 decibels quieter than a conventional tractor. Uh, it has instant torque. So it actually pulls phenomenal, uh, and we do it with zero emissions. So tell me about zero emissions. Um, <laughs> I, you know, you visited the farm recently, yeah. and we talked about this, and a lot of folks asked me about, and I'm not selling you a tractor here, I'm just talking to you about this, because I'm curious about new technology. Zero emissions, what does that mean? So tell me, um, that means the tractor puts out zero emissions. What's what about the manufacturing process? People really talked a lot about and kind of ripped me apart about having this tractor and not understanding the manufacturing process. What kind of battery do we have, first of all? You said lithium? Lithium ion, okay. lithium ferrous battery. Okay. So the batteries that we use are actually almost completely recyclable. Okay. So we are a certified B Corp with Select Track. Okay. So we put people in planet before profit, right? Yes, you have conventional manufacturing with the componentry here, right. but at the end of the day, we're trying to do what we can to lower greenhouse emissions. Right. And and again, that's you know, there's there's no agendas here, right? Right. We're just making a tractor to offer to the public that is a little cleaner and a little quieter, or a lot cleaner and a little quieter. So some of the questions that were asked to me mm -hmm. were, oh, you're not gonna be on that thing for 18 hours a day plowing up fields or whatever, but this is not <laughs> the purpose of this tractor. No. This is a compact tractor that a small farmer, an orchard, a hobby farmer, uh, a person that moves uh, and just bought 15, 20 acres yeah, of land homesteader. and has to mow, a homesteader. So it's a right. homestead type tractor pretty Correct. much. Correct. I mean, you know, I tell everybody it's it's a tractor for most applications, um, depending on the usage, right? Again, this, this is a 25 horsepower compact tractor. Right, this right. isn't a large 200 horsepower, you know, row crop tractor that you're going to be on for, you know, 10, 12, 18 hours a day. Right. So therefore, you know, for what it is, it will perform the majority of the task and again, cleaner and quieter. And, and, and it actually, because of the instant torque, takes more getting used to because you don't get the audible feedback of an engine bogging down right. when you load it heavy. Right. So speaking from experience, because I didn't hear that, I've gotten it stuck a couple times because I, I didn't pay attention to what I was doing. Uh, gotcha. So what's the, at full bore, at full stroke, as much as it's got, <laughs> how long can you run this machine before it goes into, it'll go into limp mode Correct. to get it back home? Correct. How long can you run this machine? Three to four hours. Three to four hours. Yep. Okay. When you go to recharge this, it plugs into a regular 110 outlet? Correct. Are you guys coming up or thinking about solar charging stations for this type of machine? Is there an option uh, for a homeowner or a farm owner, landowner to charge it? Oh, 100%. So we personally are, uh, we aren't producing any kind of solar apparatus today for a charging station. Gotcha. However, uh, there are a lot of homestead out there, uh, farmers, uh, homeowners, and landowners that are currently, you know, uh, providing energy to their home with solar panels. Right. And at yeah. that point, 
you can back charge this tractor and you're completely energy sovereign. So therefore right. your cost of ownership goes almost to nothing. So what we have at our house is a uh, electric solar, electric battery backup bank. Yep. And it's charged by solar. Mm -hmm. You could plug this thing into it. This tractor could be plugged into that electric and be totally off the grid with your tractor. So if you had an off grid property and you had a solar panel with an inverter, you could charge this tractor 100%. and not tote fuel cans up in the mountains. <laughs> or, so. yeah, or death jugs. I mean, gotcha. it, it is, yeah. Well, guys, it's yet to be proven, but I think we might find out whether this thing is Stony Ridge Farm Tough at some point. The solar track tractor, look for it again in the future. And guys, if you go to any farm shows, stop by the booth and talk to these guys. If you're able to test drive one, test drive it. Just try it out. I tried it out, it's super quiet, it was fun, and we got more stuff to show you here at the farm show. So stay tuned, it's gonna be fun. Look at all them turds, man. I found myself on TV here. Guys, come on over here, we'll talk to this fella. This is Wingfield Drag Harrow. This is the drag harrow setup that we have on the farm. We're going to talk to the boss man himself. Chris, Josh. very good to see you again. Good you to guys, see you, sir. if you follow the channel, you've seen the Wingfield drag harrow. This is Chris Wingfield, the man behind the drag harrow. Chris, I'm going to let you take us through what you have right here. Show us all of your drag no harrows and problem. what they're for. Yeah, uh, this is uh, our three point harrows right here. Uh, this is the smallest model. Uh, that we have. Basically every drag harrow we make has a frame option for it. It's just nice to be able to pick it up so you can back into corners, shake it out, move it place to place. So any size uh, harrow we got has a frame option for it. So we use the drag harrow on the farm to spread our manure out. What are other uses? So I've also found another use for this. Oh, what's that? Making a driveway look like a ski, groomed ski slope. Man, Absolutely. It really turns your driveway out nice. So this is the six footer? Six five, yes. Six, six five, five by five foot is this model right here. Over there is a six footer. That's a six thing. five, same size without the frame. So okay. if you have an ATV or side by side, we have a drag for you. Gotcha. Uh, but it's awful nice to pop it on a frame, just give you full control and then over that. Over trail. here, what do we got? This is a little bigger. This okay. is our next model up. Uh, while the six five is a category one, this is a category one and two. All right. uh, like all our three points, they're quick hitch uh, enabled, so you can lift and go if you have that set up. Uh, but this shows the eight footer. Uh, okay. The nice thing about these smaller ones that are the five foot depth is they connect with four chains on all four corners so if you want to go from the aggressive to the less aggressive you can drop the chains leave the mat on the ground leave that hooked up to your tractor to drive around the other side and you're just hooking up chains nice. so you're not having to manhandle it awesome this is a 10 foot four gotcha. by eight foot this is the center section of gotcha. your harrow right here gotcha. and this is the heavy duty this is the heavy duty that can accommodate those wings that we added on to yours nice. so we could over double the size dude that harrow is awesome come a little closer guys we'll show you what we've got going on here so down here the harrow the way this thing works these tines right here drug across a pasture a gravel road whatever you want to drag them across this is the less aggressive stance if you flip this around this becomes more aggressive this is less aggressive that's a less aggressive yeah right. when you're pulling the so, other way yeah when you're pulling it you want to drag or you can kind of gouge now if you go back in behind with a broadcast seed spreader oh man run the cows on right after that take them little hooves mash those seeds into the ground this thing is just awesome tool for regenerative farming wingfield drag hair thanks a lot chris for showing us again appreciate it josh appreciate as it. always here in raleigh good times more stuff to come all right guys we're with brad brad hey. is with ag spray yeah. equipment so behind the scenes guys i'm working with a company that makes a biologic product that will spray on our pastures to help reintroduce the microbes to the soil so brad sells these awesome sprayers so we're going to walk around and take a look at a few sprayers and let brad talk about it tell me about what we got here buddy all right so this is our 200 gallon unit here um, this has got a a 28 foot boom we do have different boom options uh, this is a 28 foot boom here uh, it's got basically standard uh, flat fan nozzles on the back just a kind of a uh, an average spray a number three spray tip on it that kind of covers the gamut of different chemicals and products um, then this is just a basic setup on our unit uh, it comes standard with a, a handgun with 25 feet of hose to kind of reach out there and do your spot spraying um, it comes standard with a an eight roller cast iron pump. This is an eight roller. Um, High Probe makes this cast iron pump. Um, this fits right on a tractor PTO. It does, yeah. Okay, it couples gotcha. directly. It's got a quick coupler on the back. Just slide it on, pop it on, it locks in place. Gotcha, awesome. Um, and then, of course, this is a manual plumbing option. You can you can plumb these with electric options as well. Okay, cool. Uh, with electric shutoffs. This one's just got the manual selector valve. 
gotcha. we plumbed this in three sections. It gives you the ability to uh, select left, right, and center on this unit. So uh, if you're spraying a pasture or a field or whatever it is that you're spraying, a lawn or whatever, yep. um, you can decide whether you're just spraying the right arm, just the left arm, off right. center, whatever, up next to the fence, however yeah. you want to do it. Yeah, this fits great. on the three point on the tractor, so you want to keep it down as close to the ground as you possibly can without hitting the ground, is that yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, you want, to, you want to pick it up enough. Typically, your boom, you're going to want to keep it uh, with, with uh, flat fan nozzles. This is a 110 degree fan, so you're typically going to want to keep it about 20, 20 inches above canopy. Gotcha. So you can kind of utilize that three point to put you in that proper distance from the canopy that you're going to be spraying. Awesome. Yeah. What about these? So you've got some smaller ones yeah. here for like a compact and or subcompact tractor, I guess. Right, yeah. So this is a this is an old style 55 gallon. We've actually got a new style 60 gallon that we've come out with as well that we can show you here. But uh, this is a pretty standard setup. Very similar to the other. You can you can tell very heavy built as far as a yeah. 55 oh, yeah. gallon. Um, so the frame to some degree is probably overbuilt for a lot of it, but it's going to last you a long time. Gotcha. Uh, you're not going to beat it up. So uh, what? who's your average consumer for something like this? Is it a tobacco farmer buying this to spray his crops? Is this a, uh, who's your consumer Yeah, it's this? kind of a catch-all. So a lot of hobby farmers, okay. and a lot of small acreages. Yeah, um, much like myself. I yeah. if we're on 65 acres of pasture. Yeah, um, sure, so. sure. Large, a little larger yard you're going to be doing some spraying on. So it Got kind it. of fits that smaller, smaller niche. Cool. Um, and you can utilize a, a smaller utility tractor. So with the popularity of smaller utility tractors, it kind of fits that, just that smaller niche. So. Awesome. Uh, your tank UV resistant? That's correct. Any yeah. chemicals you shouldn't spray in this? Is it? No, it, it's going to hold up. Um, you know, obviously you, you leave it out you leave it outside, you don't clean it. Proper maintenance is always right. gonna be important or it will break down over time. Gotcha. You don't wanna you don't wanna put any type of diesel product in here that's gotcha. gonna break down that wall that wall of the tank. But um, it's gonna last you a, it's gonna last you a long time as long as you take care of it nice. essentially. So awesome. Well thanks Brad. Appreciate you showing us what you got here to thanks offer. For your time. Yeah, Again, we got it. more stuff here at the farm show to show you guys. It's a little red in here, isn't it? Like yellow? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of yellow. See you guys in a minute. All right, guys, we couldn't go to the farm show without stopping by the TYM booth. This is the TYM T754. It's a 75 horsepower cab model tractor. This has the Deutz diesel engine in it. So come on over here. Let's show you a little bit closer. We'll go inside the cab. It's right over here. This tractor retails at $47,000 for a 75 horsepower tractor. You won't see that in a green tractor. Come on over. Very well trusted engine, very well built, robust tractor. Um, you can see ag tires on this critter right here. Quick attach, uh, skid steer style quick attach. You can take the loader off in case you don't want a loader system on there for doing some mowing. Hop on up here. Oh. Sitting down inside the tractor right here, it's a little bit dark, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> We've got an interior light. Up above, you got an escape hatch right in here. Let me show you real quick what we have here in the operator station. So your throttle, forward and reverse. This is a shuttle shift, horn button right there. Everything you need, all your creature comforts, and a fully adjustable steering wheel. This is from TYM Tractors, guys. The TYM. Ooh, <laughs> T754, 75 horsepower, awesome tractor. TYM, baby. Another cool item that we found here at the farm show is this clean energy heating system, this product. This burns waste oil. Used motor oil. Used motor oil, used, will it do Hydraulic. synthetic? Absolutely. Use hydraulic fluid? Absolutely. All that stuff. So if you've got a shop, a building, will it do a house? No. No. This is just for your shop, and okay. you've got to produce the oil on site. So you drain it into a tank, and then we pump straight from that tank to the to the heater, and it's used to heat the shop. Gotcha. Now we walked through this just a minute ago. We're going to show you guys exactly how this thing works. Okay. So open her up. Let's see what we got. You got a fan here. Uh, uh, this is a burner. Okay. So oil comes in to the burner, and it's real easy to open. You unhook the electrical, pull your snaps here. Open it up. This is this is actually where the flame comes out. Okay. It goes straight down the tube. The exhaust goes through the top there. 
down the tubes, and this is your exhaust, and out the exhaust. Gotcha. Now this would attach to a standard pipe, like for a stove pipe that would come exactly. out of the house. So you same, could replace same materials. Right. So you could burn your waste oil with this, and you offer systems that will heat up to. 440,000 BTUs. 440,000 BTUs. Now, there's something that I was curious about on this other end over here. Sure. Uh, you have to atomize. So let's yes. talk about this. You got a little fan in here, right? Uh, or that's just flutes? Right. So there's a, a blower that co comes across here. It's the burner motor blower. Gotcha. And the oil actually comes out the tip and mixes with air and gives it a good atomized spray. Okay, and a little spark comes yep, right that's here. Where and that's where your spark that's, comes from. So if you were to look inside this thing, you would just see a big jetted flame, Absolutely. is that right? So it's like a giant jet engine running off of uh, waste, waste oil. oil. You got awesome. it. Now, you said a unit like this will burn close to around a gallon an hour or something like that? Uh, the smallest unit that we have burns about a gallon an hour. Gotcha. And then up to 3.6 gallons per hour. Gotcha. That's for full hour that the burner is running. Gotcha. So it's on a thermostat. It cycles on and off. Okay. And um, that's how it works. That's how it works. Awesome. Yep. Cool, guys. It heats so. the whole shop. So you can hang it up in the ceiling. You can put it on a stand. Gotcha. You don't need to duct it. It just circulates so much air over this blower that it heats the whole shop. Nice, awesome. And really, we only want to knock the chill off the shop. We're not trying to get the shop to 85 degrees and Probably cook chicken not. on the floor. Probably We're just not. trying to knock the chill off. So guys, you might see this in the future on the Stony Ridge Farm as we decide how we're gonna heat our shop. We definitely have a wood stove, but to recycle our burnt motor oil off the farm would be super awesome, so. Absolutely, thank you. So guys, we're here at the show. Woodmiser Sawmills is firing up right now, doing a demo. They're teaching a fellow over here how to run a Woodmiser, which is really, really awesome. This is the LT40. I think that's the LT35 or LT30. Um, very, very cool machines. You see that on the farm all the time. Just one of the cool exhibits here at the Machinery Show. Awesome. Raleigh, North Carolina. This is a Chevy Flex tailgate. Push the button, tailgate drops, right? And there's this little thing right here. So you can put two by fours back in here, a full eight foot two by four. Lock that back down, raise that back up. Really, really lightweight. Bam, hit that button. Hello, wait a minute. What do we have here? Guess what? Got a bar top, tailgate for actual tailgating right here. You can sit up high right here. Uh, <laughs> you can raise that up also. So if you have some plywood or something in the back, bam, Chevy Flex tailgate. Opens here or opens here. And I have no idea what this is, <laughs> but it's cool. Chevy. We are with Cameron from Foreign Seast. Cameron. And Cameron, what am I leaned up against here? Polaris Ranger? Yeah, this is a Polaris Ranger XP1000 North Star Edition. We got custom tires, rims, heat and air conditioning, um, windshield wiper. Electric power steering, right? Oh yeah. Complete. Got a winch. Completely, Man. completely road legal for North Carolina. All you gotta do is slap some tags on it. She's ready for the road. Nice, so these are turn signals right here? Absolutely. Sweet. Now over here, this is a 1,000cc model. That's also a 1,000cc yep. model. This is the Can-Am Defender HD10 XMR. Gotcha. This is with a windshield. It's a push-out windshield. Um, so there's a handle on the inside. You can push so the window completely out. Raises up and out, gotcha. It's got a roof. Um, these will get, generally get you around 28, 29,000. Okay, gotcha. This is a thousand cc class also. But are these hyped up, man? Have these been lifted or is it stock like this? This is stock. Wow, these things sit up really, really high. It seats three legally? Yes, sir. And this one, is it street legal also? Turn signals and all that? Or can you outfit it that way? You can outfit just about anything like that. Nice. This one isn't, but you can. These uh, these right here, you hook up the electrical and everything, and this turns yep. into a turn signal. Sweet. Awesome. That one's also got a winch. These are some monstrous tires. Absolutely. Dude, that is not something you want to put in your lawn. <laughs> not at all. That's a trail machine, isn't Oh, it? yeah. Absolutely. Cool, man. Well, thanks so much for showing us a few cool absolutely. things here at the Machinery Show. Uh, we'll let you get back to doing your thing. What's your website? Uh, PerformanceEast.com. PerformanceEast.com. Check them out. These are awesome. Can you get these machines right now? Absolutely. We got a ton of inventory back at the store in Goldsboro, North Carolina. Ooh, it's got carpet in it. That's pretty. What the heck is this thing? It's a siphon. We are at Safety Siphon, is that right? That's correct. Safety Siphon. Check this out. This guy's going to tell you all about it. It's a siphoning hook. Well, I'll just let him tell you. Yeah, so how we got involved with this, if you're tired of spilling gas, all these new cans on the market have these spouts that are terrible. 
So if you ever pour it this way, the gas traditionally spills or leaks from the gas can. Why this is great, this is a self-priming siphon that's a half inch diameter. Put this right into your gas can, shake it to prime it, and it flows at three and a half gallons per minute. So this empties a five gallon can in under two minutes. And if you're in the farming industry, you'll absolutely love it for diesel. This three quarters, it pumps hydraulic oil, which is fairly thick. So this right here, put it in your five gallon can and empties five gallons in under two minutes. It's also great to empty water out of a water trough as well. Also, if I've got a water trough for my cattle and I need to get it emptied out, yep. and gosh, what a pain in the butt that is. Absolutely. You either gotta take a plug out or you Absolutely. gotta rock it and, and fight it and turn right. it over. So right. this is a solution to that. Here's the other great thing. We have a garden hose adapter, fits onto any garden hose. You can just slide this right into your garden hose and make it as long as you want for water applications. Nice. So if I wanted to start a siphon, now we do a lot of siphoning on the pond to yes. our waterers for our cattle. Right. I could drop this right in the pond, choo, 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 shake it a few times, bam, water's gonna start flowing. Absolutely. And if it loses prime, right. all I gotta do is go out there and shake it real quick. Absolutely. Nice. That's pretty awesome. One of the last things to show you here, we have a fuel rated shutoff valve, also great with water. Kind of going along with what he said, that holds the prime. So once you get it flowing there, you can stop it, holds the liquid in place so it's preloaded. You can go into a fuel tank, turn it on and drain all the gas out just like that. Nice, nice. So if you got old vehicles like we like to work on on the Stony Ridge Farm, you can go pump all that old nasty yucky gas out of it. Right. Now the hose, you can just buy this hose if you destroy the hose or mess it up. Absolutely. Really what you're buying here and the cost is like three for 40 bucks or so. Can right. somebody find this online on a website? Absolutely. You can check us out at bestsiphon.com. Bestsiphon.com. It's just a marble in there, man. Pretty cool, guys. Hope you're enjoying the video. Right. This is it for the farm show here in North Carolina. Thought we'd show you some cool stuff that we're seeing here. And next time, we'll be taking you to Louisville, Kentucky to the National Farm Machinery Show. See you next time on the Stony Ridge. We do one thing before we leave. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> He's cold, dude. He's been out here for three days. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty, pretty freezing. <laughs> <laughs> See y'all. Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here in Sweden. That's the way it's supposed to be. You're with Brad. Brad, good to see you again. Yeah, appreciate you coming by. <laughs> Let's try again. Blooper, pull that up. Uh, <laughs> how does it work? Good grace, I don't know. Hold on. Let's try again. I have no idea how this works. Bam, hit that button. Hello, wait a minute. Here, uh and a permanent bar built into your Chevrolet truck. No cup holders, boo.